Hi, this is Dr. Frederick. Just a, a short lecture on curvilinear relationships. Uh, here we have uh, two variables. One is called rainfall. Uh, this is the number of inches of rain that you might have. And this will be our x variable going across the bottom here, our independent variable. Um, and what might we expect to happen as it rains? Well, the grass will grow. And grass height is our y variable this way. So if we look at uh, our first ordered pair, we see that when there is no rain, there is no growth. When there's a little rain, there's a little growth. When there's more growth, uh, more rain, more growth, so forth. And what happens uh, when uh, we get too much rain is it's actually bad for the grass. Uh, and then uh, our grass might begin to mold or wilt or die or something. And when we have a lot of rain, our grass is dead and it's back to zero height. Uh, this is called a uh, curvilinear relationship and it basically says as x increases, as we go from zero to two to four, as x increases, y increases, okay, up to a point. And at a certain point, then the relationship reverses. Uh, so that while as x continues to increase, as we get even more and more rain, y decreases. And uh, so it's always important to look at, at how your data are distributed in a graph uh, to see what might be going on with them. Uh, if you took a correlation of this, the correlation would be pretty much close to zero. Uh, and you might say, well, there's no relationship between rain and, and grass growth. And, gee, that doesn't make sense. And, and the answer is there is a relationship, but it's not linear. Uh, it's curvilinear. And um, it's linear in a restricted range positively, and then in a restricted range, uh, it's negatively related, so it goes down. So here's one of those ranges. It's very positive there. Here's another range, very negative, um, but altogether from 0 to 10 inches of rain, it's curvilinear. 